Hello and welcome to another Spaz Kangaroo tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create weld joints using Blender and its sculpting tools. So let's just start by um, finding where we want to add our first joint. And hmm, let's see. I guess we'll do like a flat joint, flat weld right here. Um, so we're gonna be it's gonna be welding along here. And it'll look something like uh, this joint over here. Um, hopefully a little better than that. This is my first attempt. I'm gonna try to shape it a little more this time. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna start by adding a plane, scaling it down, rotating it, and let's rotate it here so we can scale along the local X. Um, and then we're just going to move it below um, the surface of this these two beams and what and the reason I'm doing that is what we're going to be doing is sculpting and making it actually poke through these, this mesh right here um, so what we're going to do is make sure that we've got an even mesh first so two looks good and then we're going to add um, well I want this to stay square so I'm just going to add some um, crease shifty and then pressing one so I got a full crease and then what we're going to be doing is adding the multi res so what we're going to do is we're going to subdivide it about four times so now you can see we've got some nice geometry there to work with you can go a little bit further actually since I'm on my new powerful machine I will um, and then we're going to just go into sculpt mode and you can use either the regular draw brush or the clay brush and all you have to do is just drag it back and forth until you see a little bit poke through. And try to keep your strength low because you want these little lumpy things on it, like um, this texture right here, the way it like kind of curves around. I'm not sure if you can see that in the recording, if you're especially if you're watching this um, in 480p on a the small view. Um, but if you're watching 720p or in full screen, you might be able to see these little ridges we're getting, and that's good because it adds like um, the texture of a weld to it. So you want these, you want a, lo a low strength to do that. Um, I found somewhere around 0.2 works pretty well. So we're just going to continue adding in some little bits here, and right now I'm just going to. Um, actually, I'll add a little bit of jitter. I had a little bit of jitter on before, but I'll up the jitter a little bit. So we can get some really nice texture here. Um, and now I'm just going to go around these edges, pressing control, and try to just move it in, clean it up a little bit. Um, because we don't want them the weld to be that wide. So we're going to go just like that. So that looks good. Um, and then lastly, this already looks like a messy weld, which is what I wanted. But if you really want to go a little bit further, Take your scrape peak brush, uh, turn jitter off, and set your curve to be very flat. I'm going to remove that one and set this one to vector and position it right there. Um, so now we've got a shape that's very flat. I You could go full constant, um, but I prefer this this one. Um, because it's a little bit uh, cleaner, I think. It's it, You don't get those pixelated edges. So yeah, there's that, and then we have to turn um, our spacing up. And what this will be doing is we'll be getting this nice round texture across this image. You can see how my mouse is kind of snapping now. Um, let me turn my strength up, actually. And what it's doing is when we click the spacing is going to be actually a lot farther than it was before. So, eh, I'll turn the strength up even more. Um, so now we get these this like nice flat curved texture around um, this entire weld. I'm just going to go in, do a second round of this. Um, I'll bring it up a little higher this time. 
So now we're going to just switch back to our Scrape Peak brush and go across on the top again and just get this nice texture in there. And if you want, you can go in with your draw brush and press control and drag it in. So yeah, I'm pretty happy, happy with that weld. Um, so now what we're going to be doing is um, adding a displacement map on top. So let's just subdivide this once more, smooth it, apply our multi-res, and then use a displacement, um, where is it? Displace, new texture, and that has gone absolutely insane. So let's go set our strength to something that isn't quite so insane. Okay, that's good. And we want an image. And this is just an image I got off of CG Textures. Um, where is it? There it is. Um, and I slightly changed it around. Um, but yeah, it's this weld texture. So go back to your modifier and set your strength down. Um, and we're going to go over here and figure out how to set the uh, ramp. Okay? And we're going to just... Uh, why isn't that working? Um, where's the contrast? Oh, there it is. So we're going to turn this contrast up and set the scale of the image to be a lot smaller. Oh, let's just you unwrap. Because this is a plane, we can just unwrap it quickly. Um, so we're going to set the repeat to... Oh, that's the issue. The repeat should be up a lot more than it currently is. Yeah, there we go. So now it's starting to show through, but we want it to be smaller. So set to 10. 10. And we'll go to our modifier set the strength to something that looks good right about there. So now we can just simply render this and, um, with a metal texture and we'll have a really nice um, weld right here. So yeah, thanks for watching and we will see you all next time.